Hey everybody, good morning. This is Mr. Baisaki doing another video check-in. This is going to be the final one for this week since it's Friday. And then we're going to get started again on Monday, taking a closer look at some poems. A little bit less writing, but there'll be a lot more formal reading next week because we're going to start taking a look at some articles to get some nonfiction work in there as well. So thinking about the thematic prompt for today, what are you thinking about? How can we foster? How can we create a sense of hope and resilience? At the end of your assignment, you're going to see the links for three poems. You're going to be able to take a look at Still I Rise by Maya Angelou. You're also going to be able to take a look at Of History and Hope by Miller Williams. And then finally, I'm going to wrap up this video today doing a reading of Enemies by Wendell Berry. Now I chose each one of these poems because in some capacity, they deal with the thematic topics of hope and resilience. The reason hope and resilience are so important for the world of poetry is that they're two concepts that actively support one another. I would make the argument, and if you take a look at these poems by these poets, you would see that whenever they have hope, there's resilience that provided that opportunity of hopefulness. And at the same time, you can flip it. To be resilient, you have to have a sense of hope to keep you going through whatever hardship, obstacle, or maybe whatever is blocking your path at that time. So thinking about my sample of writing that I posted on your assignment, I think it is crucial to have hope and to be resilient. We all could have a very bad day, but we have to get through it because better things are coming our way. Take, for example, a day of school. We haven't had one for a while, but we are going to get back to them. And a day of school, it could be the greatest experience of your lifetime. It could be the worst experience of your lifetime, or maybe it's just something in between. When I'm talking about the greatest experience of your lifetime in school or in regards to hope and resilience, you can wake up before school, everything's not going your way, but you still set yourself up, you get a good breakfast, you go to school. That's resilience. You go to school, you know you have a math test coming your way, you take the time to study, you look over your notes before the start of the test, that is resilience. And after your school day is over, we all go back to our homes, wherever they may be, with our parents and guardians, and we find a way to have a good evening after school. Whether that's going to sports practices, maybe that's looking after our little cousins, little brothers, little sisters, or maybe that's just making sure that we have a good dinner for either ourselves or our families. Now, hope and resilience. Often, they're easy when we don't have big obstacles in our way. But when we have a very bad day, and it is a struggle to have a positive outlook on the world, that's when they become so important. So let's think about that same example day I was just talking about. Maybe you wake up for school, but you wake up a little late. So you're late for an advisory period, you're all rushed throughout the rest of the day because you weren't able to spend enough time at your locker. And as a result, Maybe your teachers are harping on you a little bit for being late to your classes and you just feel flustered because you weren't able to establish yourself to be successful. That's difficult and you need hope to get yourself out of that situation because you want something better in your life. Maybe because you woke up late, you get to math test a little bit late, you don't have time to study, you don't have time to review those notes. As a result, you might feel bad about your performance. You need hope so you can understand there's going to be more assignments. There's going to be more opportunities to test and show how smart you really are. And after school, after you've woken up late, you haven't done so hot on that math test, you have to go home to your families and find a way to be normal around them. Well, that might be harder for me because I'm pretty weird. But I would make an argument for each one of you that when you have a bad day of school, it's hard not to keep that out of, your, out of your home life. And in those moments, we need hope to understand that it's not always going to be this way. When we're thinking about it, 
hope and resilience. You can't have one without the other. You have to be resilient in order to have hope. And ironically enough, again, we need to be hopeful whenever we have those moments that test our resilience. Can we deal with stresses, obstacles, and all these annoying little things in our lives because we want something better? Now, I think you can see each of these topics explained a little bit more better than what I just did in each of the provided poems. Take a look at Still I Rise by Maya Angelou. You should also take a look of History and Hope by Miller Williams. And especially take a look at Enemies by Wendell Berry. I really like Wendell Berry. This is a poet I first learned about in one of my graduate classes at Western Illinois University. I want to take a quick read over the poem Enemies. It's pretty short, shouldn't take up too much of your time. And then after that, we're going to wrap up this video with a few thoughts for next week. But let's think about this poem, Enemies, by Wendell Berry. If you are not to become a monster, you must care what they think. If you care what they think, how will you not hate them? And so become a monster of the opposite kind? From where then is love to come? Love for your enemy, that is the way of liberty? From forgiveness, forgiven they go, free of you and you of them? They are to you as sunlight on a green branch. You must not think of them again, except as monsters, like yourself. Pitiable, because unforgiving. Now, I've called all of you weird before. But by reading this poem, I'm not calling you a monster. I think if you take a look at the language of Wendell Berry, the poet Berry is telling all of us that we are monsters because we can be unforgiving. We can be critical about people. We can hold people to standards of behavior and expectation that are a little ridiculous because we would never hold that standard to ourselves. But as we think about hope and resilience, I hope you look out in the world and you don't see a bunch of monsters. I hope that you are so resilient that you are not unforgiving. And I hope over the next few days, you are reading every day, you are writing every day, and you're thinking about how we're going to come back to school eventually at some point in the future. All right. So take a look at today's topic. Take a look at the poems. Maya Angelou, Miller Williams. Wendell Berry. I know those are the poets, but take a look at their poems. And if you have an opportunity, take a listen to today's daily thematic song. That is You Ain't the Problem by Michael Kiwanaka. Kiwanaka excuse me. Next week, we're going to take a look at uh, the same number of poems by the respective poets each day. We're still going to have our daily thematic writing prompt. But we're also going to start taking a look at some nonfiction articles about poetry because we're going to add a little bit more every week to these videos until we're back in school together. So if you need to reach out, please do, do so through an email. If you want to do a Google Hangout, just let me know. Reach out through that email. We'll sit down. We'll set a time. We'll talk to one another through our cameras and we'll do the best that we can to communicate. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope your families are safe and I hope you're healthy at this time. Have a good weekend, everybody.